YouTube product reviewers are some of the biggest scam artists that I've ever seen in my entire life. Their whole objective is to get you to buy expensive products that you don't need so that they get paid. This goes for the biggest reviewers to even the smallest ones with maybe a hundred subscribers once big companies get a hold of them. So how do product reviews work on YouTube? Well, basically you get a product in one of three ways. You either buy one specifically to do a review on it, or you get one that's lying around the house already. And third, a company can give you the product for free. That's the big one we're gonna have to pay attention to in a minute. So you make a video talking about it, you demonstrate the product, you share your experiences with it, give a recommendation on whether to buy it or not, and that's your review. But how do you make money from this? Well, this is where the corruption comes into play. If you're a YouTuber yourself, you know how difficult it is to actually make money from this platform. YouTube AdSense requires 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year in order to get monetized in the first place. So you'll be making dozens of videos for years at a complete loss if you're going to be relying on AdSense. And even when you get monetized, unless you're making videos on topics specifically like how to make money, then the ads that you get on your videos are gonna pay so little that you're always gonna be doing YouTube at a loss because the amount that it'll cost to buy the product in the first place, it's gonna be less than the AdSense money that you're gonna be getting from YouTube. So how product reviewers make most of their money is from commissions and brand deals. And that's the meat and potatoes of this video. So commissions are pretty simple. They're referral links. Basically, you get a link to a product from maybe Amazon or Rakuten, like some sort of an affiliate network, or maybe even the company itself. You can get it from like Best Buy. You might get it from Elgato themselves or Razor themselves. Every company has a different structure so that you can even get in their partner program or be an ambassador or anything like that. So it's all going to be dependent on the company. Anyway, you post that link in your description. And if somebody buys a product from that link in an allotted period of time, then you get a percentage of that payment as a cut. It might be 1%, it might be 15%, really depends on the company and the commission structure. And full disclosure, commissions is what I do. I use Amazon links specifically. Now I can't give specific numbers on what Amazon pays out because the numbers are gonna fluctuate, but I can say they don't pay you a very high commission. The amount of people that have to click your link and then buy their product in a short amount of time is pretty insane if you even just want to make your money back. So creators realize this, and this is why most of them go to the dark side, which is brand deals. Now, some people reach out to brands themselves, but usually you don't even have to go that far. You don't even have to work that hard. If you make a review on YouTube about a big popular product, like a webcam or a capture card, microphone, something like that, and you get a lot of views on that video, then the company that made the product they're gonna see the video. Someone in that company is gonna see the video, maybe on the PR team, could be anywhere. But I can almost guarantee you someone in that company has seen it. They might not acknowledge it, but they've seen it. Now, whether it's a positive or a negative review, it doesn't really matter on the first encounter. As long as you have your business email or your Twitter in your bio, like on YouTube, and you make enough videos, they're almost definitely going to hit you up. And I personally had a lot of brands, even like really big brands that you'd be like, whoa, really? Actually send me messages trying to give me products. Now this was until, first of all, I don't take brand deals, never taken brand deals, but I do have a bio, like the, the little words that you can put in your bio that says no brand deals on it. I have that on my YouTube channel, I have that on my Twitter. I still get all of these DMs anyway, and I don't respond to them, but no brand deals for me, but I've had a lot of companies try to hit me up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna give names out. I actually don't have a business email for that reason. So I deny brand deals because I like my integrity, but most YouTubers will jump on that instantly. They're like, oh, a big brand wants to get in contact with me and they wanna work with little old me? Sign me up. You're telling me you wanna give me a free product and all I have to do is make a video about it in return? Oh, I gotcha, bet. And that's why you see a ton of YouTube videos particularly in the product review space where it has this little label that says includes paid promotion or got a product for free or whatever else. They change the label of what it says exactly. And most YouTubers, honestly, they don't even label that properly like they should. I don't even think that should be legal, but anyway, they don't label it. And at the beginning of the video, again, some of them will disclose that they got the product for free. Like, oh, hey, yeah, Razer sent this device over free of charge, but this isn't going to influence my review in any way. All right, so this is the point that I wanted to make in this video. Not going to influence your video in any way, huh? Okay, so you're telling me a company hits you up, gives you a product for free before it even launches. You get to put that review out on launch day as soon as the embargo lifts. 
You get all the views because nobody else even has a product to make a review of it. You got the product for free, so you didn't have to pay for it. This is like a $200 device. You're saying you're not incentivized in any way to make it a positive review so that the company will send you more products so that you can get a bunch of views, a bunch of commission money from this. And if you continue to make positive reviews, the company might make you a brand ambassador. They might give you specialized affiliate links. They can get you up to like 10 or 15%. You're saying with all of that incentive that it's not going to affect your review in any way, huh? So this company is just hitting you up, giving you free products, $200, $300 products out of the goodness of their heart. They don't expect anything out of you. They're just being good people and you're just being an up and up honest product reviewer, right? Uh-huh. So you're telling me that $500 Godox site that you got, that you were going to buy that on your own and make an honest review of it by yourself, that thousand dollar light, you're just going to get that yourself. Uh, I don't know if you guys were looking on YouTube about 2020, late 2020, when this product, the Aver Media Live Streamer Cam 513, this came out for $250. There were a couple of YouTubers, no names, that were pushing that thing like crazy, like it was the best webcam ever. And of course, you know where they got that product for free from the headset spaces like this like crazy i don't want to name names again but there are a few youtubers that will push anything these really bad two to 250 even 300 dollar devices that are like this headset's not that good if you've actually listened to it but they're like but they will say anything you go through the videos on their channel look at the like the last like 10 videos ranging from 50 dollars devices 300 dollars devices they're gonna say all of them are amazing all of them are awesome top tier because they want you know, the commission money, they want the partnership, they want the brand deals from all of these companies. Doesn't matter what the company, they'll take all of them, say they're all great, keep getting free products, keep getting this boosted commission rate, and keep on making honest, fair, unbiased reviews. So hopefully I got the point of my video across, be very critical and skeptical of anyone that's really trying to push products to you, even myself, even my own videos. If I say a product's really good, ask yourself why, why am I even making this video? How am I incentivized? What am I gaining from saying something nice about a product or telling you that you should click the link in the description? What am I gaining from it? What is anybody gaining from this? Why are they putting all this effort into these reviews in the first place? Be very, very critical of anything, skeptical of things that you hear. Don't just take things at face value. And I'll leave you with three quick tips to help you avoid getting taken in by a lot of these YouTube shills. The first thing to look out for is if somebody puts out a review video, the day that the product gets announced or the day that the product comes out. If they already have a fully edited, produced video ready to go as soon as the product gets announced or the day that it gets released, that means that they already had it a few days in advance. And if they already had it a few days in advance, you know where they got it. They got it from the company. And if they got it for the company, they got it for free. And the second thing is obvious. It's an extension of that. If it says paid promotion or if they actually disclose at the beginning of the video, oh yeah, this company gave me the product free and it doesn't influence my review in any way. This is going to be completely unbiased. If they say something like that, that's already a red flag. And the third thing is if you see them on any marketing material, if you see them like on the website, like quoted on the website, or if you see them like being retweeted by the company on Twitter, you know there's some sort of deal going on. A lot of times they are brand ambassadors. If somebody's a brand ambassador, that's the closest thing to being on the payroll of that company. Are you really gonna trust a Logitech employee to tell you an unbiased review of the latest Logitech webcam? I don't think so. And that's all I have for you today. Use your critical thinking skills when watching any product review. This goes for not just YouTube, but on websites. They follow the same rules. A lot of them get products for free. And hopefully I'll see you in my next review. With the product that I actually bought with my own money because that's how I get down. I show the receipts for a lot of the products that I have. Like the Odyssey Penrose, I showed the receipt for that. But hey, again, be critical of my videos too. Anyway, I'll see you.